Chris and Randy want to welcome you on this a very significant and important day in their life. They express their love to each other. They are happy that you have joined them and are supporting them with your presence, your love, and your care. So we rejoice at this moment as we join together Chris and Randy in marriage. We are gathered here in the name of the Father who has created us, the Son who loves us, and the Holy Spirit that is present among us now. Amen. Our Lord God said, It is not good that a person shall be alone. I will make a helper fit for them. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Have we not read what ye have been beginning me, then male and female? It said, For this cause shall a person leave their parents and cleave to each other, and what God hath joined together, let no person put asunder. The Apostle Paul in the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians gives us a definition of love. And if you experience this kind of love in your home, your life will be enriched and you will have a happy home and a deep abiding friendship. Listen as Paul describes what love is. Love is patient, kind. Love is not jealous or conceited or proud. Love is not ill-mannered or selfish or irritable. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. Love is happy with the truth. Love never gives up. Its patience, its faith, and its hope are eternal. And although because of our humanness, sometimes there are burdens laid upon our marriage, nevertheless our gracious Father in heaven does not forsake us in an estate so holy and acceptable to him. The word of God reminds you too as you seek his blessing. That not only are you to love each other, but you are to love him. His word reminds you that you must acknowledge each other, that both of you have strengths, but also both of you have weaknesses. You must encourage each other in times of success, forgive each other in times of failure, and look to God in times of conflict. You shall minister to each other in times of sickness. You shall comfort each other in times of sorrow. God expects both of you by honest work to provide for each other and your family, not only in the material necessities, but above all in the spiritual values. His hope is that both of you shall live together in harmony and love as his children. If there are two things that I would like for you to remember this day, the first is, is that God has a goal for both of you. And the goal that God has is that you build a happy home. No fame or fortune can be substituted for a happy home. Nothing else expresses your love to each other more fully than building a happy home. We live in a world in which there is lots of sorrow, separations in homes. But God's goal is that you build a happy home, and that you are willing and committed to that, and will work through the difficulties to accompany this goal. Secondly, God has provided you both with a friend. And friendship is a great gift. All of us here have had friends who we do not see anymore. Friendship takes time. Friendship takes energy. It takes the willingness to listen, the willingness to assist each other. And so God wants you to have a deep and abiding friendship. And so the two goals that God has for you is to keep your friendship alive and happy and to build a happy home. I therefore ask you, Randolph, Stephen, Chad, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together after God's plan in his state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and care for her in a lifelong commitment? Christine Moreno, will you have this man to be your husband? To live together after God's plan in the state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and care for him in a lifelong commitment? Delia and Emmanuel, on behalf of your family, do you give your blessing of the marriage of Christine 
to rent. Will Mary and Virgil, on behalf of your family, do you give your blessing of the marriage of Randolph to Christine? We do. Boy, they said the name. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly Father, shower down upon Chris and Randy thy blessings as they assume the responsibilities of marriage. We thank you for the love that has drawn them together. We thank you for the bonds of marriage and for the opportunities given to sacrifice and to serve. Grant our Father that nothing but death may ever separate these two one from another. May the pledges they make this day grow more meaningfully day by day. May there come, O Lord, into the hearts and lives of Randy and Chris, who bow before thee now, a deep yearning to give of their self for the other's good. Together they may build a happy home, a deep and abiding friendship. Amen. <clears throat>
better for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or poor, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, and in sickness and to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us to find, to death according to God's holy will. According to God's holy will. And this I pledge to you. Take thee, Randolph, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. According to God's holy will. Holy will. This I pledge to you on my honor. May I believe? symbol without beginning or end. It sets forth the unending character of the responsibilities you assume as you make your vows. It is emblematic of the love that you pledge to each other while life lasts. And it is a guarantee of all that is sacred and satisfying in human life. God's blessing rests upon these rings. You will give and repeat after me. Receive this ring.
presence of your family and witnesses, I announce you to be husband and wife. God hath chosen together. Let no person put asunder. The Lord God who created our first parents and sanctified their union, sanctify and bless you, that you may please him both in body and soul, and live together in holy love until life's end. One of the Latin American customs is the custom of placing around the bride and the groom the lasso, symbolizing their oneness, their unity, and their new home. <coughs> Symbol. We are going to light a unity candle symbolizing this new home. That out of it they wish for light and love to shine to their families. They will be supportive of each other and also to their families. They have been raised in homes of light, which have shared with them love. So at this time, the mothers are going to light two candles on the side. Then Chris and Randy will light this new home light. They will not move out their relationship to their families, but all three will burn brightly in their life. Father and of the Son.